Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. As you can see from my makeup look today, we are creating the Glam Vampire Halloween look. It's very easy to achieve. It doesn't require uh, you to go out and buy a whole bunch of products, and it's sure to make a statement. So without further ado, if you want to learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. All right, starting from the very beginning, I'm taking my Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, taking a small amount of this and using this to prep the skin with. I don't know about you all, but with the weather change and it getting a bit colder outside, I'm finding that my skin just needs a, a drink of hydration. And this really does that for me. It starts out as a cleansing balm, but it breaks down into an oil. And then when you add a little bit of water to it, it emulsifies into a cleansing milk. I'll zoom in here so you can see what's happening. You see that it's turning into a cleansing Cleanser. Then what I do is take a washcloth and wipe it right off. And if you find that you're someone or if your client is someone whose makeup tends to break apart and look cakey throughout the day, this solves that problem for me, which is why I use it on myself and my clients all the time. So now that the skin is cleansed, I'm going to complement it with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is one of those products that TikTok for sure made me buy. I know it was going viral. I was a little late to the game purchasing it, but once I did, I was not disappointed. It almost acts like an adhesion for your makeup because it creates this tackiness, this grip onto the skin that's really nice. So now that we're done with the skincare component, I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm taking my House Labs concealer that I usually use and I'm lifting it quite a bit using their foundation that is pure white. So if anything, I'm actually tinting the white foundation because about 70% of this is gonna be the white pigment and then I'm just going to add a smidge of this concealer in. The thing with this vampire look is that we want our complexion to look almost kind of washed out. We want the complete opposite of bronzed which is why I'm going quite a bit fairer than my natural skin tone. It's not stark white but you could see that I clearly haven't stepped foot in the light of day for many years which is the life of a vampire. It's very washed out and for the, those of you who have darkness around your eyes use that to your advantage for this look. I'm not even going to conceal that because there's really no use. It actually works in our favor for this look. And also don't forget to bring this up onto the ears because we want to cancel out that redness that many of us have. All right, now that I have you looking like a ghost, I'm going to take... I'm so sorry to do this to you guys, but the look is gonna turn out so good. I'm taking this powder foundation from one size in the shade Stage White, and I'm gonna use this to set the T-zone area. This will prevent you from looking too shiny in these areas. The funny thing with this powder is that I almost didn't keep it because it's it's just not practical. Like I don't need this bright white in my makeup kit on myself or for my clients. Even for the under eyes where you wanna highlight, it just makes it look gray. But in this case, we wanna look kind of gray because or a vampire. Now what I'm gonna do is take this light gray eyeshadow from the Patrick Ta Beauty Major Dimensions 3 palette and use this to contour my cheek starting from the top of the ear and bringing it down towards the mouth because we want that really sunken effect. I'll even take this up into the temples to hollow this area out and then get yourself an eyeshadow blending brush to add even more dimension to these areas. It's important to say that you don't want to use your bronzer for this because that would be way too warm to achieve this kind of effect. Do you really want to use something with a cool gray undertone to it? So that could be an eyeshadow. That could be your contour powder. You can even use an eyebrow powder. Those will all get you to the same finish line. Moving right along to highlight, I'm taking this pressed glitter from Makeup by Mario. It's in the shade Quartz. And with an eyeshadow brush, I'm just popping that right onto the high points of my face. You see what that does there? It's definitely not something I would do for an everyday glam, but this is very theatrical. It's almost kind of given that that twilight effect. Very glittery, diamond, glass-like skin. You know what? I'm going to add a little bit more right up in here. Let's just bedazzle this skin. Moving right along to brows, I, everyone's gonna be a little different here, but I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm using the shade Ebony, and I'm using this to build up the shape of my brow. I'm going really um, quite forward with the inner part of the brow, bringing it into that eyeshadow we placed there, and I'm lifting it up towards the tail of the brow. I want this to be over the top, and as I said, theatrical, so I can get away with creating this bold, lifted eyebrow shape.
Okay, so now we can really amp up this look and take it to another level. I'm using this About Face Shadow Stick. This is in the shade Kill the Lights, I think it is. I'll put it down below along with everything else I'm using. But I'm taking this and I'm gliding it across the complete upper lid from the lash line up to the crease. And then I'll head over to our blending brush to diffuse out the edges. Don't worry about getting this perfect. What's really great about this look and what makes it so achievable, even for a beginner at makeup, is that it's not supposed to be perfect. To get that lived in grungy rock star effect, we want this to be kind of messy. Think of it as a, as a base or as a blueprint, so to speak, for the shadows that we use on top of it. So this first shadow I'm gonna use is from this eyeshadow palette from Kaleidos. It's this deep, uh, cool toned purple. I've picked some up with my brush and I'm just gonna run it right over that black cream shadow stick placing it there in the crease and then blending it up and out And you know what, while I have this palette out, I'm gonna take these two taupey purples and run this right underneath the eyes. Traditionally, like you would wanna keep this closer to the lash line, but for this look, we really want to drag this down. We want those sunken in hollow eyes. You see how far I'm bringing this down? And by the way, this is why I didn't even bother bringing my foundation or you know concealer up to the lash line. It's because we're making it all dark anyway and whoo, it's coming together. Now that we've made it to this step, I'm taking this powder cream blush duo from Patrick Tall Beauty. This is in the shade she's wanted. I'm picking up the powder in this and applying this right on top. This is gonna add in that punch of red hues to this look, following the same application for the under eyes, but I'm using more of a stippling effect. We don't want this to be perfectly blended. I want this to look kind of splotchy. The next step is taking a deep black eyeliner pencil. I'm using this one from Urban Decay. You can use anything you already have, it don't matter, but just run it through the lash line really thick, both bottom lash line and the upper lash line before taking a smudger brush and diffusing this out. For one last time, I'm heading back to this eyeshadow palette, picking up this black shadow and using this to really carve out the crease here. I think it's a nice way to add some dimension to this look and it kind of helps my eyes look a little bigger than they are. And I think that is looking really good. So I'm gonna complete the other eye real quick off camera and I'll be right back. Now the other eye is complete. Do you see how this is all starting to come together now? It looks so Good. I love it, love it, love it. I do want to say that I added some mascara onto the top and bottom lashes off camera, and I also added a little bit of glitter to the inner corner, the same glitter we used on the cheekbones. But what I'm going to do now is take some of our blush, along with that deep plum shade, onto a tiny little liner brush, and I'm ever so carefully going to draw on little veins. I think what's so great about this look is that you don't really need any of these you know, particular products. You can take what you have already and make it work for you. Maybe not use this you know, exact blush or eyeshadow palette, but take a blush that has a red tone that you have or, or any eyeshadow palette, really. It doesn't matter all that much. You kind of work with what you have. In fact, I'll even go as far as to say that this is the perfect costume makeup look for if you're in a pinch, last minute, you need to come up with a costume, but you don't have the time to go out and buy anything. This is ideal because you can use what you got to make it work. So moving right along, I'm taking this Makeup Forever Black Artist Color Pencil, and I'm using this to trace the upper lip. Now, this lip look is very particular. So I want the very top of the lip to be the darkest, which is why I'm adding the black. And you'll see how I gradient that into a deep red by taking this Jaclyn Cosmetics lip pencil, tracing right over that black pencil we used and bringing that down. You see what I did there? So taking that same pencil, I'm going to fill in just the inner part of the lower lip and then just tap this out with your finger. Isn't that cool? I feel like if you were to do a, a bold red lip for a vampire glam look, it would be expected, but this is a little bit more fashion forward. I almost forgot. I, I want to add some clear gloss onto the bottom lip, so I'm going to use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Gloss. Put some onto the back of my hand first, pick it up with my finger, and... Ooh. Yep. 
That's a vibe. Let's add a little bit more. Yeah, I love that. I, I like the contrast from the top and bottom lip. We're keeping the top matte, the bottom glossy, and it's gonna look like, like fresh blood once we add the blood on the side. So to do that, I'm using our Jaclyn Cosmetics lip pencil that we just used a second ago. I'm mapping out where I wanna add this costume blood, right there along the left and right side. On top of this, I'm adding this blood FX. I picked this up from Amazon. I'm adding some to the back of my hand, picking it up with a liner brush and adding that right on top, which makes this the final step in how we created this glam vampire Halloween look. There we have it kids. I hope you all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram and TikTok at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.